Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to my channel Heaven's Light. And hope all of my friends are well. And today I am going to show you how to calculate the effective area. And for calculating the effective area, we need to know this equation. Effective area is generally considered as the light carrying region. Using this equation, we will calculate the effective area. Now, we will go back in Compson. Here is the design which I have already shown you in my previous video. So, in this video, I will not show you how to make this structure and I think all of my friends can do this now we will go in definitions option and if we click on this here we will get variables options and we need to take some variables for for calculating the effective area uh, and here is the option component couplings and from this we can take the integration option as I have already taken this so I will not take other variables or integration just just show it for you now we will go in variables and here you can see I have written this area take these variables and here is the expression if we notice in this then we can see this is our equation which we have written in this this is our expression as we have taken here in top on so we need to take the integration and here the operator name is in top on and here we will select all the domains And in variables you need to select here entire model not domain or boundary or point you need to select entire model now we will go in study for mode analysis and we will compute it Here we have kept the mode for checking the x polarized light or y polarized light. We will go in arrow surface. Then if we take this mode and plot it then we can see uh, this is for x polarized light and if we take this this is for y polarized light now we need to go in derived values and take global evaluation and And here we need to write area and the unit is meter square and the operation is maximum 
and here we will select from list. Then we will take this. This is for expolarized light. This is for y polarized light. And if we want to plot a graph, then we can vary the wavelength as like uh, dispersion calculation or confinement loss calculation. We can calculate this and plot the graph. So I think all of my friends can vary the wavelength and plot the graph. So in this video, I will not uh, show you the how to plot the graph or vary the lambda. So friends, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and do a comment without any hesitation. I will try to solve your problem. So friends, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.